Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, I don't know about you, but after that spectacle on the Ellen Show, I had to take some time off to recover. I had a very low cringe threshold and I suffer more embarrassment for the person being embarrassed than they probably do for themselves. Certainly, I don't know how Meghan Markle can look herself in the mirror uh, after that. Um, but I thought we'd and need a bit of a palate cleanser today. I will look at that awful spectacle again tomorrow uh, in a reading. But today I thought change of pace and I am using the gorgeous tarot of the divine for this reading. Oops the box doesn't fit in. Uh, Tarot of the Divine. You'll have to turn your screen sideways to see it. It is inspired by deities of folklore and fairy tales from around the world. It's a relatively new deck that I have. I didn't think that I would actually use it on this channel but today when I was thinking of the reading that I want to do I thought I know which deck needs to come out and play for this one and it's the Tarot of the Divine. And the reading that I'm going to be doing is one that I've wanted to do for a while. And that is uh, about the Queen's perception of Catherine and how possibly it has changed. Uh, I was inspired to do it. Somebody on Tumblr said that they had heard from a source close to the palace. And of course, it's all hearsay and it's Tumblr, so taken with a grain of salt. Uh, but that they had heard that the Queen holds Catherine in the absolute highest regard. And I want to look at that because as far as I can tell, my opinion, of course, and of course, this is just a tarot reading, just all for entertainment purposes. But my opinion of it has always been that the Queen possibly had some doubts about Catherine in the beginning and enough doubts that William put off his engagement to her. And uh, things have changed in my opinion. And it's also interesting because the Queen went out of her way to accommodate Meghan Markle, invited her to Sandringham for Christmas before the wedding. I didn't do that for Catherine. And uh, uh, took Meghan, of course, on the royal train. Didn't do that for Catherine for years and years and years. I think it was only sometime after Meghan had that grand event that Catherine herself had that opportunity. So uh, very interesting um, that things uh, happen so differently for Meghan uh, and for Catherine. So I want to look at that as well and to see how the relationship has changed and how possibly has changed. We'll see what the cards want to tell us and uh, how things are going to work out in the end. And um, the underlying energy is an interesting one because it's the eight of coins in reverse. It is either working too hard when it's in reverse uh, or it is not working enough and possibly it's just the underlying energy it's not uh, it's not the real heart of their relationship it's possible that way back in the past uh, the Queen thought that Catherine was not working hard enough for the royal family or possibly before she got married thought that she should be out earning her keep and she really wasn't there was all that weighty Katie business. I'm getting a bit of a weighty Katie vibe off this card. And um, interesting, very interesting. I, off the top of my head, don't know what myth or legend or whatever that is. I'm not going to look it up uh, right now as the reading would take too long if I look all of them up. But if you are interested and you have access to the Tarot of the Divine, look it up and uh, uh, we can talk, talk about it in the comments perhaps. And uh, so how is their relationship really the heart of the matter with their relationship? How is it? And I get the Knight of Wands in the reverse. And that is uh, the energy of being a bit flighty, being a bit flaky, uh, not really seeing something as, as, as someone is sticking around as being in it for the long haul. It's a very interesting energy. Uh, not again what I would have expected with this relationship, but again, the idea that the Queen thought that perhaps Catherine wouldn't stick around, that perhaps she wasn't up to the job, that she would be all all passion and burn out quickly and disappear. And uh, so my suspicions so far have been confirmed that in the beginning certainly 
uh, the Queen did not hold Catherine in the absolute highest regard. And let's see, this is the specific card that will tell us how the Queen saw Catherine in the past. And that was the Four of Cups in reverse. And the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, I'm very sorry. I thought that didn't look like an, a, a depiction of the Four of Cups that I recognised. Um, the Two of Cups in the reverse. She thought... Very clearly, she thought that the relationship wouldn't last, that there would be a breakup, that uh, William and Catherine were uh, young love, met at university, too young, too immature, it would not last. Catherine was hanging around, perhaps possibly Catherine wasn't putting enough effort, possibly Catherine was after the money, uh, not prepared to put the effort in, how wrong she was and uh, how it's turned out to be true of the other bride, the other royal bride and that Catherine would sail in and disappear as quickly as she appeared on the scene, she would be gone. And so I apologise for that um, misreading of the card. Two of Cups in reverse definitely thought that it would be all over, all over before anyone knew it. And so the less involved uh, the Queen was in the relationship, the better. So no invitations to Sandringham, no royal seal of approval, no appearances on balconies, none of that. And uh, I don't think uh, the Queen even met the family until right before the wedding. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I don't think she really had anything to do with the Middletons until around the time of the wedding. So she was very, very, very wary of the whole of the whole thing. How does she see Catherine now? How does she see her now? And we get such an interesting card here. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And I'm getting chills when I see that card. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It, of course, is the bad luck card. Fate going against you, the wheel turning against you. And it's as if uh, she sees her as having a very difficult legacy. Very, very difficult path ahead of her. Major Arcana. Um, it's about timing. The Wheel of Fortune is always about timing. It's always about when your luck is going to change, when things are going to go your way, are they going to go your way? It's very karmic, of course. You're on the wheel that turns and you are really not in control of your own destiny. It's a very much a destiny card, the Wheel of Fortune. But in the reverse, she sees her as having a very, very hard destiny. There is no um, emotion in this. There is no affection but there is the sense that she has chosen a very hard path. And that I think the Terror of the Divine is a very appropriate deck to use for this reading because this is about a divine purpose, a divine path, a very difficult path. A path that's not going to be easy for her at all to follow and to stick to. And she's really going to have to turn this Eight of Pentacles upright. She's going to have to turn this Knight of Wands upright in order to cope. Uh, so very, very interesting energy. So the fourth card of this reading that I have, specific fourth card, this was the underlying energy from the bottom of the deck. Why did the Queen treat Meghan Markle so very differently? Was it because she liked Meghan more? She thought more highly of Meghan or she was trying to placate Harry? Why did she do it? And the Six of Cups in reverse, it's because of Harry's unhappy childhood. Six of Cups is of course memories of the past, your childhood, your old friends, your innocence. And when it's in the reverse, it's bad memories. So it is, the Queen felt somehow that Harry's past was so difficult. I fear getting a little bit of guilt off that. Got nothing to do with Meghan Markle and the Queen's feelings about Meghan. It's got everything to do with the fact that Prince Harry had the sad childhood. He had to walk behind his mother's coffin, all of that. Uh, watch that awful interview on TV and his childhood was blighted 
by that. And so the queen was as welcoming as possible to his chosen bride, whatever her own personal feelings about his chosen bride. When the moment came to offer, extend the hand of hospitality and to reach out for her and to welcome her into the family, the queen went all out. Didn't go all out for Catherine because she didn't think it would last very clearly didn't think it would last. How wrong she was. Very interesting that her assessment of the situation were, has turned out to be so wrong and that Catherine has turned out to have this inner core of steel that no one suspected. Although I think you only had to look at her mother, Carol Mid Middleton, to realize that somewhere in there, there was that inner core of steel. Um, iron in the soul. So how does the Queen as the last card of this reading. This really quite surprising reading to me. I thought it would be all cheerful and lovely and sweet, but no, it's not at all. And I should have learned my lesson by now, <laughs> but ever the optimist. Um, how does the Queen see Catherine as Queen? How does she see her ultimately stepping into her own shoes and uh, taking over that role? And uh, Interesting, she sees her as being very happy, very, very happy in that role. Despite the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, of course, can just be delayed timing, can be just waiting. The Queen sees Catherine as waiting for her chance to come, for her big moment. She's getting gearing up for that big moment. Could be the interpretation of this Wheel of Fortune in reverse as the Queen's current view of Catherine, that she really is getting ready to take on that role. So not as sinister as it might be uh, perceived. But Three of Cups, and I, I'm fascinated by the costumes that these people are wearing in the Three of Cups because Catherine has already been to India on a tour with Prince William and she has been to Pakistan on a tour as well. Both are very successful. The first a bit um, of a naive tour, possibly her clothes. Her clothes were a bit um, champagne hippie. Um, a little bit boho. I think the Indians were a little bit upset. They wanted the silks and the linens and all the rest of it and they got, um, uh, you know, as I say, the, the, the kind of hippie, hippie boho style that, that Catherine does seem to like to wear. She's very comfortable in. But she really upped her game when she went to Pakistan and she dressed spectacularly. And um, But it seems to be that she will uh, work with the Commonwealth. And that's my long and rambling discourse was to get to that point that the Queen sees Catherine carrying on that community. Three of Cups is about friendships, is about community. And she sees her as fostering that um, connection with other cultures, other countries, um, other parts of the world very much. And I think she thinks it's very important and that Catherine is going to do it very graciously, very effortlessly, that she's going to be very welcoming to other cultures and be inclusive in her reign and it will be a reign as a monarch um, queen consort and so that's a very positive card it's minor arcana but it's a it's a truly lovely card and um I might go through this reading and if I have time, add in, uh, before I upload it, I'll add in on screen what, what the myths are for each of these cards. If I don't, I apologize. I am very time pressed still at the moment. The day job is extremely demanding still this month. Things will quieten down a lot in December and I'll be able to load and do a lot more readings than I am currently doing for you. Uh, but uh, I will try and uh, get that out. But this, to me, quite an interesting insight to what's going on in uh, what was going on in Her Majesty the Queen's thought processes and how she sees things now. I don't think that the wheel in reverse, the wheel of fortune in reverse, is nearly as sinister as I first saw it. I just think that she thinks that Catherine is biding her time to step onto the stage as a world figure and to take on that very karmic, that very destined role uh, that she has waiting for her. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you on the next one.